Today we're testing the GeForce GTX 1070 in Cyberpunk 2077. So yeah, you can see that the card was released in 2016. We have eight gigabytes of GDDR5 VRAM, and we are running the latest NVIDIA driver, 512.95, the latest at the time of recording. We are pairing it with an AMD Ryzen 9 5900X, and for memory, we have 16 gigabytes of DDR4 running at 3600 megahertz. So we'll be starting off with 1080p on the high quick preset. Just go through here quickly. We don't have any FSR enabled. So we are just uh, testing 1080p native at the high preset. So similar to my previous video, we are starting right outside of uh, V's apartment. This is actually a very intensive area on both the CPU and GPU. So we'll probably get a, a good idea of how this card performs in this game just by being in this area. We have uh, RTSS enabled so we can capture some frame times, etc. And there we go. So we'll just be running around, creating some havoc, killing some people, getting to gunfire to see how this uh, card performs. So far we are just uh, above 40 frames per second. Motion blur is turned on. That is purely because the high preset actually enables it by default. I would personally prefer motion blur to be off. But we are just uh, testing presets just to make sure everything stays uniform during my testing. So even during intensive gunfights, you can see that the FPS doesn't drop below 40 that often. And we have a decent 1% and 0.1% close. So all in all, this is definitely a good experience. Definitely better than what I was expecting. There's very little input lag as well. So nothing to be concerned about there. Uh, one thing to be concerned about is my accuracy. Yep. Let's just uh, get a gun that can't miss. That'll be better for me. Alright, so enough of that. Just gonna drive around a little bit, see what the frame times do. You'll notice that I do have the frame time graph just below the FPS numbers there as well and that'll give you a good idea of whether the game is experiencing some status or not. So far the frame time graph is, is very smooth which means that there are very little or no noticeable status actually. So that is, uh, that's definitely a win for the GTX 1070. Even driving around we do get uh, above 40 frames per second. It does drop into the high 30s every now and again but it's not really noticeable in gameplay probably because motion blur is turned on. All right, but the aim of this video is to try and get uh, 60 frames per second. So let's uh, lower the detail settings a little bit. So we are just uh, dropping it down to medium and we are still at 1080p. So we just restarted our save and you can see that we are almost getting 60 frames per second here. Previously, we got about uh, between 40 and 50 in this particular area. So that's a nice 10 FPS bump, which equates to roughly, what, 15 to 20% performance increase just by reducing the detail to medium. And the game is definitely playable. It's, uh, it's a little bit smoother. You can feel that the, the controls are a little bit more responsive, a little less uh, input latency. So let's see if we can cause some mayhem here. So I'm pretty good with shooting still standing objects. As soon as they start moving, then it's... Uh, comes a little bit of a challenge for me. All right, so we're gonna drive around a little bit. Let's steal a cop car. And the moment you get into the cop car, the, the police stop chasing you and then they start chasing you again. Okay, interesting. Driving around, we are still getting above 50 frames per second. It does drop to just below 50 at some points, but uh, definitely not not that noticeable. The 1% low and 0.1% lows are also acceptable, so this is uh, definitely a pretty good experience. Alright, so now we're going to try the same at the low preset. Let's see if we can keep the FPS above uh, 60 at all times. Should be able to do it. There's not a lot of... Uh, graphical fidelity loss by moving down to low. Although reflections definitely do uh, look a lot worse if you look a, a little bit closer. The screen space reflections, especially on car roofs, that uh, just looks a little bit more grainy on the low preset, but it's definitely still acceptable. I mean, the game still looks quite good and it performs uh, very, very well. Let me just drop 
just below 60 there but all in all we're getting an average of 66 and the frame times are looking quite consistent there are quite a few oh you just fell over it's quite a few cops here um let's see if our trick works get into the cop card let's see if they stop chasing there you go so you just uh, steal a cop car and you're good to go all right so you're just gonna drive around a little bit see if we can still keep above 60 frames per second and so far so good i mean this is not the most intensive uh, driving area you notice that one one stutter there that's actually just a game auto saving so not to worry about that it's just going to reset the count here driving is definitely more intensive in this game especially if you've got the crowd density set too high it becomes a lot more intensive on the cpu you'll notice that sometimes when you're driving fast your gpu usage will actually drop down from the high 90s to the 80s and sometimes even the 70s and that's just because the AI and the NPC is just a chop a lot of CPU cycles and the game then becomes CPU bound at that point but the GTX 1070 is doing a pretty good job here it is paired with the 5900X as we mentioned previously so we shouldn't run into any CPU bottlenecks here but even with a 5900X I've noticed that sometimes it does drop below 90% GPU usage. All right, so you can see that our average FPS was 59, still not that uh, magical 60 FPS number. The 1% lows and the 0.1% lows are pretty respectable. So we're just going to play around with the settings a little bit more. All right, and we're back. And at the moment we are running on the 1080p, actually it's the high setting and we have just enabled uh, FSR ultra quality. So you can see we are still getting just above of 60 fps here let's drop below 60 just every now and again but this is pretty much the same experience as what we had with the 1080p low more or less reflections though should look a little bit better the lighting should look a little bit better even though it is now upscaled from a lower internal resolution it's definitely still a very good looking game remember you can't enable dlss on 10 series cards as it's not supported so thanks amd for fsr Ah, oh, there we go. I'm guessing that there are so many cops here because this is actually police headquarters. Just uh, that building over there, which makes sense. I mean, if we go by logic, which we shouldn't because it's cyberpunk. But as you can see, even during intense gunfights, the GTX 1070 is keeping up pretty well. Oh, here's another cop car. Let's see if... Our trick works with this car. No, it doesn't seem to. These cops are quite aggressive. Got no idea why. Let's ramp. No, that's not a ramp. That's a blockade. All right, so we we got an average of 60 frames per second there, which is not uh, terrible. It dropped below 60 just uh, every once in a while. So we'll try and just reduce the graphical settings to. 1080p medium but still leave FSR enabled on ultra quality let's see if we can hit that 60 fps all right we're at uh, 1080p medium and we still have ultra quality FSR enabled let's start the benchmark run there we go I mean this is a this is a very good experience we're getting above uh, 70 frames per second here it's not a high refresh rate experience, but this game is very demanding. You'd be hard pressed to get a high refresh rate experience with a 1070, but what you can aim for is a very respectable 60 plus at all times. My aim also has improved a little bit, it seems, along with the frame rate. And as you can see that with the frame time graph, this is a very, very smooth experience. So just to be clear, a smooth experience does not always mean high frames per second. It just means that there are almost no noticeable stutters and the less stuttering there is, the smoother the game feels. Even if you have 30 frames per second, if you have a constant 30 frames per second, the game is definitely more enjoyable than if you had to play it at 60 frames per second with mini stutters all over the place. All right, so we're gonna do one last test. We're gonna see what this card can do at 1440p. We're still going to leave FSR at ultra quality and we're gonna run on the medium preset. 
All right, so we're at uh, 1440p, graphics is set to medium, and we have FSR ultra quality. I think let's just go to FSR quality for this one. All right, so we're at 1440p with FSR quality and the medium preset. And you can see here we are almost getting a 60 frames per second at all times. This is actually very impressive for the GTX 1070. This is a six year old card, if you remember correctly. And for it to still run modern titles at 1440p at this frame rate, it is really respectable. Let's see what happens once we start fighting again. He just lost his head. Driving around a little bit. I'm just gonna, there we go. Cops stop chasing us once again. Very realistic. So driving around, we do see the frames per second drop below 60. But as I explained earlier, it is a lot more intensive driving around. Maybe not in this particular area, because all the assets should have been loaded in already. But we are still seeing above 50 frames per second, even in this intensive area. All right, so we got an average of uh, 58 frames per second there. 1% lows 46 and 0.1% lows at 40. That's uh, very, very good, actually, especially at 1440p. And I must say that I am pretty impressed. What this means is that if you have a 1440p monitor with a GTX 1070, you can still play Cyberpunk with a solid 60 frames per second. But I think the best setting for this game, if you've got this card, would be 1080p medium with FSR and ultra quality, as that seems to give the best performance. And the visual quality loss is not really that noticeable. You'll find it if you go look for it, but if you just play the game as you're intended to, running around, killing people, doing missions, it's definitely not as noticeable and you'll have a good time. All right, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And as always, hope to see you guys in the next one.